but this is the door to my closet from my bedroom I always keep it open just because I'm always like going in and out of my closet so first thing we have on the door here I have some purses and I got this organizer thing from Target for like two dollars and it holds six bags so I keep my longer bags on it because my bigger ones like take up too much room on it and they stick out a lot but these ones just look they just hang down like that so that's just where I keep some of my crossbody bags that I use a lot and now we're gonna go ahead and go in so I will give you guys a little overview first and then I will go into everything <laughs> So I guess I will just go ahead and start over here. So way up here on this wall, I have a collage that I made of my three iMats experiences so far. So I just put some memories and like stickers and just memories from that stuff. And then hanging from that, I have my beauty compass. So I went ahead and backed up so you guys could see this, but this is my first of these two identical clothing racks that I have, and I got these both at the Home Depot for only $18. So if you need a good clothing rack, I love these so much, and I've had that one for a long time since my last closet tour, and they work amazingly well, and they're so inexpensive compared to other clothing racks. And I have OCD, so I have made all of the hangers in my closet white and like the same brand. I got them at Target. They're so cheap. They're just plastic white hangers because just having different colored hangers, I had that like a few months ago and it drove me crazy just because I'm, as I said, kind of OCD. So as for what I keep on this rack here, so starting on the left side, I keep new purchases, things that I've gotten recently that I haven't worn yet. I just have a couple of that right now. And then I keep some clothes that I want to wear that I haven't worn in a while that I'm just like interested in wearing. So I have have some of that and then from here until the end is like sweaters and jackets and coats that I have hanging up just at easy access because it is fall and winter now and right there in the middle I have like my blazers and then it just goes into sweaters leather jackets and my pea coats and then at the end there hanging off I just have a purse that is really big and takes up a lot of room so it just kind of hangs off the end of that and then here on the bottom the great thing about these racks is you can also fold stuff and put it on the bottom of the racks to have extra storage so I love doing that so this is where I keep my pants that aren't jeans so on the left side I have my patterned and floral pants in the middle I have like black and brown pants just kind of neutral colored pants and then on the right side is where I have all of my like colored skinnies and um, bright colored pants and the ones on the top are the more fall appropriate ones and the ones on the bottom are like I'm not gonna be wearing those until the springtime so that's that and then if we go over into this corner here I have my Hello Kitty slippers which I wear around the house a lot because my feet and hands are always free and then I have the top to my hamper which usually my hamper is there but it's in the laundry room right now because I'm doing some laundry okay moving on to my second clothing rack so on the end I have this awesome hanger that I use for my scarves so as you can see it has all these different little hooks so I thought this was so perfect for my scarves so I got this off of Amazon for like seven or eight dollars and um, if I can find it I will link it down below in case you guys are interested so yeah I just keep my scarves hanging off of that I mean I really won't go into detail you can pretty much see them moving on to my second clothing rack you can tell this is where I keep all of my dresses so I just kind of do them again I keep like the new purchases right there which I think I only have one that I haven't worn yet and then like tank top dresses into like short sleeve into three-quarter sleeve into long sleeve on the end I really like organizing my clothes that way this is most of my dresses I would say about three-fourths of them the ones that are really summery that I know I'm not gonna be wearing until next year I went ahead and put away but this is all of the ones that like I could add a sweater or something to that I felt like I I could keep out for these seasons. And then at the bottom of this rack, I store more things as well. So this is where I keep all of my sweatshirts. I don't like to hang them up just because, you know, they're just sweatshirts. So I just keep them down here, and I reach for these all the time. So over here, I have ones that don't zip up and just, you know, more like slouchy big sweatshirts. And then over here, I have some of my, like, Victoria's Secret sweatshirts and, like, ones that do zip up and some of my Wild Fox sweatshirts. Just, like, I mean, it's just two piles of them, basically. Moving on to the next section of my closet, 
closet which pretty much looks like this so down here on this rack is where I keep most of my shirts again I put away the ones that are super super summery that I know I'm not going to be wearing for a long time so this is all my other ones and the way I have these organized is kind of weird so starting from here it does go from like tank tops to short sleeve to three-quarter sleeve to long sleeve and stopping about right here I have the shirts that I've worn already to school this year and I just whenever those get out of the laundry I just put those in their own little section and I kind of organize that as well like longer sleeves to three-quarter sleeve as I told you guys that's how I really like to organize my stuff and I don't have that separate because I'm trying to like not repeat outfits or anything because I mean I've already like repeated outfits this year it's not a big deal to me I would just rather wear something that I haven't worn yet as opposed to something I have so I like to have it separated for that reason so this little chunk here is stuff that I've worn that you guys probably recognize if you watch my outfit of the week videos now above that I have this little shelf that I'll show you the shoes on it but this is where I hang my skirts off of and I really like this organization for it it's just easy and I love this shelf because you can hang stuff off of it and put stuff on it so I mean I don't know that's just like you can get those shelves pretty much anywhere like Home Depot Lowe's stuff like that but these are all my fall and winter skirts and again I use the same exact hangers for all of them because I like it that way so these ones are also from Target they're a little more expensive just because they're like clear in their pant hangers but I don't need as many of them so it's okay so yeah that is my skirt and I have to admit I really like the way that this looks I'm proud that I like did this myself so I just kind of aligned some boots from tall to um what am I saying from small to tall because my ceiling is like a really weird shape like it goes up because um this is like the top of my house so it just kind of goes like there's a shorter wall over here and then the tall wall is over there but I have my combat boots so my brown and my black and then I have cowboy boots Minnetonka boots riding boots and more riding boots and then I have a little hook over here and that's just where I keep one of my purses so that one is from forever 21 and then we have this little section right here this tall thing this is a part of a storage system from the Home Depot which that's pretty much where I got like literally all my stuff starting off with this top section this is where I keep my jeans and I really like just having them at easy reach here so I just keep them in two little piles there and we have this shelf and this is just where I put all of my cheerleading stuff like my awards I have three little um, plaques back there with pictures from the three years that I've done cheerleading I'm not doing it this year but and then I have my two pom-poms that I went through and just a little like headband and my bows that I wore and stuff so that's just kind of like memories for me and I didn't really have anywhere else to put my stuff so I just put it on the shelf because I had room and then on this last little shelf here is where I keep like bigger purses that I'm not really using at the moment but that I still really like so I just kind of keep those there and then I have these three drawers which I will go through these so in this first one I keep a mix of things first in the front I just have a bunch of belts all of my belts are not very organized well they're just kind of all thrown in there I have a lint roller I have a big infinity scarf from forever 21 and then these two are um, leg warmers from forever 21 and these two are um, leggings black and gray leggings so I have that stuff right there this next one is sweatpants so it just goes you know a lot of Victoria's Secret ones those are my favorite like yoga pants and comfy sweatpants and stuff which is great for this time because it is so super cold out and like in my house oh and I forgot I meant to like organize this but I mean I guess it doesn't really matter because it's socks but this is where I keep my socks so I have a lot of fuzzy ones I also have just like regular ones like here but a lot of fuzzy ones so yeah I have a ton of socks so I just keep those all there and I wear fuzzy socks all the time in my house and then down here I think this is my bathing suits, but maybe I changed it. I think it's still my bathing suits. Yeah, okay, so that is where I keep my bathing suits because I don't need them right now in this box. It's just a giant Victoria's Secret box, and it literally just fits so perfectly under there, so I love that. And then on this wall over here, I have this little plaque that my friend Hannah gave me for my birthday, and I thought it matched so nicely with my closet, so it says, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams, so I love that, and I just keep that on this wall right there. Then over here, I am so excited to show you guys this. This is the reason that it took me so long to put up my closet tour video, because I was getting this... Um, shelving system put in and this is shoe shelves I got this from the Home Depot it's like a shelving system and then we have to get additional shelves so that's why it took so long to get the additional shelves because it only came with like five so um, this is my new shoe shelving system and I love it so much so I will just give you guys a little overview 
I literally am like obsessed with it. So I guess I will kind of go through the shelves. I mean, why not? So down here on the bottom, I have three pairs of riding boots. And then I have um, some like Jeffrey Campbell-esque, but they're not. They're from Charlie Roos. Shoes there. And also I have shoes in the back behind. I keep like the ones that like I'm not really wearing or I don't like as much or wear as much in the back because these shelves can fit more. Um, so I keep... Just so you know, like, all of these shelves have shoes on the back as well because, like, I'm absolutely addicted to shoes. So, yes, here are some heels and little booties, and then you can't even see the shoes in the back, but, I mean, I guess they're not that important if I put them back there anyway. On this next row, I have some heels and booties. On this next row, I have booties, little heels, and, like, some wedges, and then I have flats and two, like, kitten heels. I have toms. So you can kind of see the shoes in the back, like, from this level. Um, my three toms and then some, like, flats in the back. And then this one is just all filled with flats. Same with this one. I have a lot of flats because I just like to wear those a lot. And then this is my gym shoes, which are Nike. These are just some booties. And these are, they're getting kind of crushed by the shelf, but those are um, my Uggs. And then up on this top one, this is another big one that can fit boots and stuff. So I have um, slouched over a pair of cowboy boots that I don't wear as much anymore. They're like super blingy. And then I have my rain boots. And then I have my gray tall Uggs. So, and then up at the top, you totally, well, I guess you can kind of see, I have all of my sandals like shoved up there, which I don't need those right now because it is fall. So yes, here's a little overview of the shoe shelves. Again, I got this system at the Home Depot and I am literally in love with this. And then my last little storage system is also from the Home Depot. And I have some drawers there, a little candle, a picture, and then this little cabinet, which I will show you um, everything. So I will start off with what's in the cabinet. If you've seen my old closet tour, it hasn't changed much. You know that this is pretty messy, but I mean, I don't care because I just closed the door. So here I kind of do like bags for traveling. I have some current receipts over there. So this is mostly bags. And then I have like some Halloween costume stuff and some like other random stuff and then this one is like what even is this more bags for traveling um receipts like taxes and stuff I have to keep all of my receipts for that stuff um my hoodie footy which I wear all the time and just fun stuff like that so yeah not too organized but that is okay this is like a little opening to divide the drawers and the cabinet and I just have a Bath and Body Works cotton candle the cotton candy candle <laughs> burning that was a tongue twister and a really old picture of me and my sister that you can't really see very well I'm kind of glad you can't because that is just like not the most attractive picture I have braces and stuff but whatever um in here this tiny little drawer is where I keep my bras and underwear so I won't show you that and then in here this is like um this is where I keep my t-shirts over here so fit them represent and then um, this is where I keep all of my tank tops most of them are my favorite little Tammy tanks from Old Navy yeah I have a lot and some of these are my new ones that I haven't worn yet so see this is always these drawers get so full that they don't even want to close sometimes it's bad this one I really like this drawer personally this is my gym and dance drawer so over here to the left is any type of like workout shirt. Some of it's just like tank tops that I like to wear to dance in the gym and to work out. And then um, under here is all of my Nike shorts, which are amazing, the most comfortable shorts ever. And then I have um, a couple sports bras. A lot of them are in the wash right now. And then here in front, this is my favorite. This is my um, yoga cropped leggings and some yoga shorts over here. So I just like to choose which one like matches with my shirt or whatever. So I have a lot of those from Victoria's Secret. They are the best things ever to work out in. And then lastly, we have this drawer, which is literally, like, not even going to open. Can I do it? I have to put the camera down. Okay, I got it to open. This is my pajama drawer. I have a ton of things that I wear for, um to go to sleep, like t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff like that. Here, this is my pajama bottoms, so like pants and shorts and stuff. And then this is my nightgowns. So that is that. It is so stuffed. Why is it like this? I need to get rid of some of this stuff, but you know, it's just because I did my laundry, so I have most of my, like, okay, we cannot have that. Go back in there. 
Okay, and that is it. We are back to the door. So I guess I showed you guys everything. One last overview just for the heck of it so you guys can see like, you know, the layout of my closet, I suppose. So again, literally everything is from like the Home Depot, my storage stuff. That's a really good place to get stuff. And yeah, so got to back up a little bit. There's my clothing racks again. Just chilling on the corner. Oh, I never went over this rug. This is just from overstock.com and I have the same one in my room right there. And I love it. It's so soft. So yeah, that's my rug. I love this thing because it just kind of like, it makes my floor not so cold when I come in here in the mornings and have really cold feet. So I like to stand on it. Um, if it was up to me, I totally would have like a little chair in here, but it's not big enough. So yeah. So that is the end of the closet tour.